All right, welcome back. It's D. Another review for you guys. Today I got the 2024 Honda Accord EX in this nice radiant red color, man. Check it out. Check out this bad boy. One of my favorite colors, man. You got some nice walk around. She's an EX with the 1.5 turbo. Check her out. Can't really, uh, we don't really have any, uh, don't really have much cars here. Doing a lot of moving them, so I can just get what I can get. I'm trying to get an EXL, did a touring, but they all in the same color. So this is, uh, what you guys get today. Nice EX and it's ready and red. Starting up front, gotta love this front. I mean, it's like growing on me, the front end of these Accords, especially the DRL and the LED. Uh, turn signal with the LED headlights. It's pretty nice. No fog lights on this. It's an EX trim, so gotta step up to a higher trim to get all those goodies. But, uh, it's a pretty nice, handsome car, in my opinion. Tire wise, you got a 225.50 R17 inch rim on some Michelin's Energy. Pretty comfortable ride. Nice, uh, I ain't really going to hate on the rims. It's pretty nice. Get a sunroof with the EX. No uh, turn signal in the mirrors, but um, that's cool. Check her out. And that color is popping. Check out the rear. You don't get any, you know, exhaust tips, you know, chrome exhaust tips, whatever. Just been an EX, so still the exhaust just dumped. Get your nice LED tail lights. I call it like somewhat a light bar. I wish they would have just connected it. Don't really, you know, maybe. But it looks pretty nice. You got your two reverse lights right there. Nice LED turn signals. Check out this trunk space. Relatively nice size trunk. Got your spare tire back there. On it there with the jack. Grocery hooks right there, and you can fold the seats down, pulling that right there on either side. Check that out. On to the interior. Being an EX, you don't get any leather. You know, you get maybe like leather here, like one stuff you know you're going to touch. But seats are pretty comfortable. They are cloth. Nice gray color. I really like when it's called out, I really just like them black, you know, because all this stuff is going to show some stains. But it looks pretty nice, though. You don't get any uh, climate vents or any charging back here, but everything else is uh, pretty nice. Door panel is nice. You do get blind spot, which is pretty nice. Keyless entry as always, you know, tap that to lock, grab door handle to unlock. Same nice leather armrest. No uh, power seats, saw manual seats, backrests, and bottom. Coming on to the interior. Show you guys the key real fast. There you go. Standard uh, Honda key. I just love this. I'm uh, kind of liking the one vent, how it looks. Nice armrest, it's leather as well. Nice storage with a little cigarette style charger. Let's go on to the driver's side. Check out that radiant red again. Check her out. Check out this window sticker as well. Like I said, it is an EX. 1.592 horsepower with the CVT. You guys can pause that if you like. Whopping 31,000, 32 combined, 29 city, 37 highway. Check it out. It looks pretty good. So, what you get? Same, uh, 
nice leather armrest driver which is nice you do get power seats and lumbar but um yeah man pretty nice same seats comfortable seats actually step up in here check her out nice full digital dash which is nice you got these two dials or dials that control either side of the screen this side controls basically the media and this side is all your information so you got you see a speed driver attention seat belts like maintenance you know your safety which is pretty nice what's that you got your lane keeping blind spot your collision all oh, standard when it comes to uh, the honda sensing so you ain't gotta worry about that i actually kind of wish you know all cars come like that standard but uh, you know now that you got to pay for certain things on different models but honda and toyota is pretty nice nice look lost black to break up uh, some of this like flat black and you got your dabber cruise control you can set your distance between you and the vehicle and then, you know steering but other than that man it's pretty straightforward got your wiper I mean, your light controls and your wiper controls pretty standard stuff smaller screen this is a seven inch um it's pretty straightforward you know still it does have apple carplay and android auto which is nice you can see the little icons up there but you know just got phone radio media and you connect your phone and just pretty standard stuff really not much to it in this little screen but I'll show you guys the back of the camera though it's pretty nice you can change your different views and you got rear cross path detection Turn it back on. coming down here you do get heated seats with the ex which is pretty nice in dual climate so two usb c's no charging port but it's a nice storage right there cup holders surrounded by all this uh black plastic that's a drive mode, sport, I like your low range. That's econ mode. Gotta love that. That's how you get that 40. And your auto stop start. Electronic trying to park and brake and you brake hold. One of my favorite features. You know, with that, you just, when, you, when this is enabled, you don't have to press the brake at the uh, light. You press it once and then let it go and it'll just apply the brakes for you until you hit the gas. But uh, like I said, it does have the sunroof. I think it's pretty dope. 31,000, man. You know, what can you really expect? Like I said, my elbow is right here, so this is pretty soft. And this is pretty soft. The steering wheel is pretty nice. This is a little bit a leather steering wheel, but this is fine. Probably won't maybe wear as much. But yeah, man, this is the EX. It's not really much to it. Like I said, all the stuff is pretty straightforward. That's why I love Honda. Everything is pretty straightforward. So you guys a 1.5 turbo. Check out the big turbo. No hood struts, but um it's cool. And there it is, man. 192 horses. They get you a little intake. I did that with mine and so uh up the throttle response i had a sport 2019 so same engine though so put an intake on there kind of spend some money i know if you guys like that or not but it's give you a lot of uh, throttle response in my opinion i close that in a second all right driving the ex accord and, uh, and uh like i said this is an um higher trim it's like more like a step up from the lx not a lot of you know nice materials in here you know but like i said it gets the job done and this ride is pretty nice with these 17s i feel like every honda depending on maybe the trim ride a little bit better than other ones but like the lx to me rides pretty good this ride's pretty good it's been got the 1.5 turbo so you know you got a little little pep give a little bit of gas Pretty, pretty cool. 
was a little quick. We're on 47. I went in these zero to 60, but uh, just the job done. I'm really familiar with this engine, so like I said, you put an intake on, you get a little more throttle response. Just you know, it's a little expensive though. 600 bucks is a lot, but I had a sport, so I thought I was feeling kind of sporty. Give a little more gas. Go, <laughs> SCVT man. This thing is nice though. Seven inch screen. Like I said, still got an Apple CarPlay, so pretty cool though. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this thing, man. I like it. Pretty comfy though. Give you guys the last walk around. Check out that front. And I love this color. My core is in uh, modern steel. That's a nice color too. You gotta love that steel night pearl though. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think, man. This is uh, it's pretty it, man. This is a uh, nice sedan. You know, gets the job done. It's not too flashy. I used to kind of get these uh, body style hard time, you know, coming from the previous model but it's not too bad of course they still give you a 2.0 turbo but it is what it is i guess and so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below man nice ride man come check it out this is d i catch you guys in the next one peace